Hello everyone, this is Omar al -Tawaini. Welcome back to the new sessions of using logistic regression in GIS using our environment. Many ecologists and researchers in the geospatial field ask about uh, how to perform uh, logistic regression in the GIS environment using open source without need to using a commercial software like uh, SAS or SPSS which it's increase the uncertainty because most of the cases in most of the uh, statistical softwares you need to convert uh, all your uh, spatial data to statistical data or to text files that means you, you are losing now some components I searched a lot about this topic uh, but I couldn't find a full tutorial starting from A to Z start from preparing the data and to uh, produce a uh, susceptibility map using GIS and R so I am excited actually too much about this and I hope you too uh, in general the course objectives will be evaluate and convert the results of applying multivariate logistic regression method to produce susceptibility map using GIS and IR environment And at the end of this session, you should be able to create dichotomous training and testing data. That means you will learn how to classify your data uh, into training, but you have a zero and one data. Usually for an, uh, a normal method like uh, by bread methods, we learn how to produce training data, which is just has one value. There is no zero. So how to find the zero values also uh, effectively set your project environment in R so how to set the environment how to install the package how to feel comfortable working in R without need to uh, request too much or ask about how you are sure about your environment so in here it will be your environment your project you will have a much confidence about finding where is your saved image where is your output reports also, we will learn how to prepare the special data to be suitable to be used in our environment, how to export them from geospatial uh, softwares into our environment without any kind of uncertainty. We will try to spot the light on the basic operations with the special data in R. Also, I will try to discuss about how to uh, develop some mapping uh, uh, cartographical skills in R, like if you want to do resampling, clipping, about raster data. Usually, here we will focus more about raster data. Then, logistic regression will be one of your outcomes of about this uh, tutorial. Also, you will run some statistical tests that it will be useful to reduce to show how much you reduce your uncertainty and how much you are sure about the validity of your indices more also you can produce some uh, outputs and that you can use them later in your report accuracy assessment using ROC one of the most solid methods that we use uh, with especially for the uh, prediction validation test so and we will see the area of the curve also we will try to export the results and compare it with the previous results that we produce using uh, frequency ratio method. <laughs> 